Good afternoon. This is Between the Lines Live at SanduskyRegister.com. We're on the road at Mill School in Sandusky on Mill Street, and we're here with Tondra Frisbee, the Youth Program Supervisor. That is correct. With the Sandusky Recreation Department. And for the past six, seven weeks, there's been a camp here at Mill School. We're in week five. We're in week five yep. of, of seven. Of seven. And tell us a little bit about the camp. So today's camp, we have Monday through Friday from 10 to 2, um, but today in week 5 is Wednesday, and if you can notice, we have a menu board of activities that our youth are, are able to pick and choose from on a particular day. We've picked a great day to okay. show up at summer break camp at Mills. We're new here at this location. This is our temporary location at Mills School. We're excited about being here because now we actually have and I'm, I say we as Sandusky Rec actually have a location for our kids to gather in the community. I mean, so, a kid-centric location, yeah. a place that's been for kids for years and years. And just recently, uh, the school moved out and the recreation department moved in. Absolutely. So you were going to take us on a tour? Yep, I'm just going to show you a little bit about what we're doing here. Basically, this is our, our full day. It's Wednesday. We have a lot of uh, organizations that we collaborate with that come in and offer some great activities for our kids to do, and, and we're excited about it. Okay, so we'll let you uh, leave. All right, Wait. so we are going to first, where are we going first? Let's go this way. Okay, we're gonna go this way. No, 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 actually, let's go outside first. So we're follow. Go outside first. I should mention that Between the Lines, keep going. Okay. Between the Lines is brought to you by serving our seniors for Erie County residents age 60 and better. If you need help, call Serving Our Seniors at 419-624-1856. Do we have to scoot up on them? Or? We'll, come, we'll walk over there. Okay. So this is the Erie Metro Parks. They have a, a new program called the Now Mobile Nature on Wheels. And our Nature on Wheels, uh, what they do is they bring the nature of Erie Metro Parks and nature to the location. Pretty cool. Kids get to do this and, and, and get uh, education and fun activities about the world we live in today. All right. Every Wednesday. So we'll let you zero in on the kids. These talents help them catch their prey. And she's exactly right. So look at those hooks. So owls, when they hunt, they stretch out their toes and their talons really, really, really big. And they catch them. And they hold on to them. Yeah. Like they catch their fish. Yes, very good. Like eagles or ospreys catch fish. These guys or owls catch mice and voles and other little mammals with these really sharp talons. Then they fly up and they hold their prey with these talons and they use those sharp, those sharp beaks to help them eat. So this is like their, their knife and their fork to help them eat. All right, that is the Nature on Wheels. It's a brand new uh, little trailer that Erie Metro Parks does, and, and they bring it all over the community. Is that right? Yep, yep. All right. Now where are we going? Now we're go you're going to follow me. <laughs> now we're going to, um, this is the Ohio State uh, University Extension um, STEM. I think that's how they're calling it. But this is brand new, like we've never seen this trailer to this, until today. Normally, Miss Jessica George would come and do activities with the kids, um, as, as, with the kids as far as creating content, digital content, um, helping them understand how to use iPads to create videos. Um, they really enjoy her, her Wednesdays because they are able to be creative. In the world that we live in today that's full of digital everything and social media. And so this is tactical, tactile. Oh yeah, yeah. So I think they have, uh, today they got drones and okay. they have this awesome mobile, um, like a, uh, I don't know, like a truck, I guess. And they're gonna be creating emojis and animating them, making them, they create their own and they animate them. They're also, there's a drone right there. There's two of there's them. There's two of them. And they're also going to be painting with robots. Like, this is pretty cool. So, yeah, this is 4-H, STEM, Ohio State Extension. 
4-H STEM. This is a volunteer yes. uh, basis as well. And this is every Wednesday? Every Wednesday, Miss Jessica George here will bring uh, her um, creativity to, I mean, they've done a lot of different things uh, and working with robots and working with uh, iPads. They did a scavenger hunt. And I mean, no, at all ages, like we've had five and up with her. And she just tailors it to make it where it's uh, suitable for the age group. Do you want to, you want to say hello? And yeah. Hey, Jessica. Yeah. So this is Jessica George. You want hello. to share with Jessica? real brief about what this is and what you do for us and us. Yeah, Correct. so um, I I work for the Ohio State University and specifically with the 4-H program, which is our youth development program. Um, and we've been working with the rec department this summer and all of our activities have focused on creativity. So in a minute here, we're going to be using these robots to create some action painting. Um, like when we think of artists like Jackson Pollock who created action art, um, so we're going to be painting here. Um, we just got done talking about some of the amazing photography and video footage we're able to get from drones now. And so the students are trying out uh, some drones. So all about using technology to express ourselves and be creative. So it's been a really fun summer so far. Wow, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing that. All right. Go well, that so, way. All right, so what colors do we want to use? Uh, now let's think about what ooh, colors yeah, go purple. well together. Do we want to use some purples? I want to use a purple. Okay. So we have Miss Peyton Jeffries. Is this your first time flying a drone? Yeah. Oh, man. It's her first time. You're doing pretty good there, girl. They just are born with this skill, isn't it? These yeah. These kids have yeah. it in them. I, can't, I, I don't think I could do that. All right, where to now? Now, right. and, and the kids rotate through these. Yeah, that what we'll do is we'll have uh, the, like the menu. Yeah, um, yeah. We have Miss Miss Towner says she had to get all ready for this segment. <laughs> the smiley world. Is this your first time uh, flying a drone as well? Yes. All right, Mr. Dequan is out here helping them out. How you doing? Yep, yep. So what we'll do is uh, move over to the next. No. Nope. Oh, this way, Matt. We gotta walk around the building. So, again, we are able to use the entire grounds of this building and inside. We haven't gone upstairs to the second floor yet, but that's coming. We will have fall programming after school starting in September, get that word out. And how do you qualify to be in the program? You just have to live in Erie County and Erie County and surrounding areas um, and can be able to get here at the time frame that we have our programs. Okay. Um, this area in the soon will be where the um, where our bike program will be. So all the bikes that the uh, police get confiscated and they just sit out there. We have a bike program where we learn bike safety first, then the bikes get fixed up and the kids can have a free bike. That's coming. These grounds will be our new safety town and I can't speak more on that. I mean, I can't speak too much about it, um, but uh, Annette Solette is, is going to be overseeing that project. They'll paint this whole uh, playground area here to be like a little town in our little four to, I believe it's four to six or four to seven year olds who will be able to do safety town. Okay. And I believe we'll have the first safety town with a roundabout in it. Oh. In the nation. In the nation. That's what I heard. I don't know. Well, you might you have to fact that check from? that. So you're breaking news here on Between it's the breaking Lines. Breaking news. First roundabout. For kiddos. What do we have up here? Fitness? We have fitness. We have every day Mr. Cass, Master Polo, and uh, Mr. Pharaoh Williams are, are doing the um, sports skills camp. So they, and most of the time, it's, it's some girls that are involved, but a lot of times this is the part that they have to do first. Before they play any games, they have to do the skills piece. That means they got to get those muscles loosened up. They got to get 
<laughs> they got to get exercise in there, and they're all willing to do it outside in this heat. They love they're it. They're looking at us. Why don't you take a look over there? Let's go, Mr. Swain out here helping as well. So we have plenty of eyes. Anyway, uh, that's one. Follow Mass Cass. He's University. In Washington, D.C. In D.C. Northeast, Northeast Washington, I think. Yeah. So he the teaches on Monday, he teaches sign language because he's uh, uh, it's a hard of hearing college, university. Right. So he teaches our kids, so we have kids that will be bilingual before the end of camp. Well, actually, they'll be trilingual because we also have Spanish classes. So they'll do, <laughs> they'll have, they'll speak English, they'll speak sign, and they'll speak Spanish. All right, now we're going to go to a wonderful location. Come on. And again, you know, we, we switch out. We do all these kind of activities in the morning. There's a before lunch, and then there's after lunch. And after lunch today is a really, really cool. They're making a pipe cleaner, dragonflies with Miss Candace Brewer, is our art teacher here. So how and, many um, activities are there today? Today we have now, we have I Create, we have uh, Skills Camp, and we have Fireland Symphony Orchestra. That's where we're going next. And of course, we'll have the game room and the hangout center. So we'll show you that part. Hi, kids. So see, these are some of our, got here a little later, so they're having their little breakfast now. In this gym, we'll be able to do different activities. We'll be bringing back our Midtown Supper Club program is our location here in the kitchen, and we'll bring back the sit-down fundraiser at the end of that pro program. All right, so then we have, uh, we got Granny Pat right here. Granny oh. Pat watches everything and makes sure everybody's in the right place. You can't walk past this counter without telling her where you so going? So you're in charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> good. <the> good. <laughs> good. Well, I'm glad to know. All right, now we're going into the school. Yeah. Proper. Right. On Mondays down here we have the dance classes, and we also do tap fit kids down there. But that's Mondays. Mondays. Right. So is there something different every day? Every day, there's, there's some staple things that happen all the time, like outside, which you just saw, uh -huh. that's every day. Um, every day, there's art. Uh, Mondays is uh, also sewing with uh, Miss Stephanie Brown Mayfield, the Make It So Easy program. Okay. They're making shorts next Monday. It's going to take two sessions, but they've been making one-day activities. Projects? Yeah, one-day projects. Make It So Easy. This is the chill spot, you know that chill spot we had? The ping pong table. Oh yeah, I won. That's in the afternoons. This is if, uh, the, if the truck wasn't outside, normally uh -huh. this is where she would do her uh, I Create Studio. And we also have hair braiding with tender heads. They learn how to uh, braid hair on okay. mannequins. This is the hangout with the furniture and the weed, you know that? The Wii game system. The Wii system. game system. This is our Ohio State SNAP uh, program. It used to be called Nutrition Education, but kids didn't ever want to sign up for that. So we changed it to Eating Good in the Neighborhood. And they love that. Like, who wants to, who wants to go to Eating Good in the Neighborhood? It's a simple rhyme. Simple rhyme. And this is our art room that Ms. Candace will be taking over. But now, we get to the Fireland's Symphony Orchestra. And today I think it's the strings instruments. It's also our Spanish club. Let me show you something else. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. So we have Miss Jody Chaffee that is, she's amazing with the kids and all the instruments. 
they they did the brass section last week. Yep, and, and we did the woodwind section before that. Yep. Today is string section day. All right. So, so they're going to get a chance. They don't know this yet, but they're going to get a chance to play each one of these instruments. Oh. They, they don't actually know that, so don't tell them. No, don't let them it's know. It's a that complete surprise play. that yeah. they'll each get to play this. And everyone, tell them, what is this called? A bow. A bow. A bow. Is it called a stick? No. No, no never called a stick. Yeah. All right, so I wanted to show you how you could make a string instrument at home if you wanted to. So the main part of this is the body. It looks like a box. So I ate all these Cheerios this morning so I could have this box. So then I also remember I need holes in it. So I cut a hole in it. I also need strings. So I attach some rubber bands. One of the other important parts is this. What do we call this again? A bridge. A bridge. So I ate three popsicles this morning. I taped these together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go under here and I'm going to lift those strings up so that they hold them up. So this, I can pluck like that. So pretty much, <laughs> so pretty much that is what Wednesdays at Summer Break Camp at Mills looks like. Um, we are um, so blessed to have the Sandusky City Schools. Uh, Mr. Brad Kraft is the food director for Sandusky City Schools. Um, they provide the lunches for the kids every day at noon, um, and it's, it's really um, vital to our programming that we feed our kids, and, and that's one of the things that's attractive. Again, these are free programs. In the summer, we will, I mean in the, in the fall, we will be offering other programs that might have a low cost to it, but we also have a scholarship program. So anybody that wants to donate to the Sandusky Rec scholarship program, they can do so. So these programs are... Uh, this summer they were free. Yep, yep, all oh, this is free. Uh, and they're low cost in any event, whatever they can. Yep, be. yep, yep. And it's brought to you by the Sandusky City Recreation Center. Um, Chandra, Jason, and uh, Annette yep. at the Rec Center. Uh, thank you for the tour. We oh, appreciate yeah. your time. And how many kids are enrolled this summer? Well, we have 100 registered for the seven weeks, but you know how that goes. So on average, we get between 50 and 60 kids a day, which is, is pretty it's good. We good have size. some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it ran from June through? It'll run from, it ran from June 13th was our first day, uh, Monday, and then um, it goes until July 29th. Okay. And then on July 29th is a Friday. It's the last Friday in July. We will also be, um, it signifies the last day of the Park of the Week program and the summer break camp at Mills. And so we'll have a big community collaboration day at, at the Mylander Pavilion um, at the Jack Street Pier. I read about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll have that from 3 to 6. We would love for all the community to come out and see some of the tables that will be there showcasing and outreaching, uh, doing some outreach of their uh, offerings that they have in the community. We have some uh, entertainment on that stage for these kids, so. You have to wind it up now. I gotta wind it up now. Okay. That's it for this segment of Between the Lines. Uh, this is, segment has been produced by Aaron Caldwell, brought to you by Serving Our Seniors. When you need help, call Serving Our Seniors, 419-624-1856.